Hello everyone, just wanted to give you another promise from God's Word for today. Um, and the question is, where does your help come from? Where do you look when you, when you have a need that you can't meet on your own with your resources? Where, where do you go? The psalmist asked that question in Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2. And we read from the New King James Version, I will lift my eyes up to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The psalmist realized that if he had a need that he could not meet, he knew where to go. The one who, who the Bible says owns a cattle on a thousand hills. And I want to just share that promise with you from God's word. And it's found in Philippians chapter 4 and 19 where Paul writes, and my God shall supply all your need according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Uh, that's the promise. My God will. I like David Jeremiah's illustration of that truth. And here's what he says. God's promise to supply all the Philippians needs is personal. He says, my God, it is positive. He will meet. It is pointed. All your needs. It is plentiful according to the riches of his glory, and it is powerful in Christ Jesus. And just as that promise was true to the church at Philippi, it is true for the child of God in the 21st century. So let's hold on to that. When, when troubles come, those unexpected issues and experiences that, that we hadn't planned or prepared or saved up for, um, and they do come, right? We all know that. Uh, they could be uh, from, a, from injury or loss of employment or a higher auto expense than we anticipated. Just on and on the list goes. And yet, as a child of God, living in the will of God, he has promised to provide for us. Warren Wiersbe paraphrases this verse, uh, I, I like it the way he says it. He says it this way. We might state it this way. You met my need, says Paul, and God is going to meet your need. You met one need that I have, but my God will meet all your needs. You gave out of your poverty, but God will supply your needs out of his riches and glory. God has not promised to supply our greeds, when the child of God is in the will of God, serving for the glory of God, then he will have every need met. Hudson Taylor was often quoted as saying, when God's work is done in God's way for God's glory, it will not lack God's supply. I just believe we ought to, we ought to think about that and claim that for ourselves this day and for our families and for our nation child of God, that's God's promise to you. He will supply. Give him glory and praise. Amen. Have a great day in the Lord.